Now to the defrosting danger. A man from Holly hospitalized after trying to thaw out frozen water pipes with a heater. It caused a fire that destroyed much of the home. That man's now recovering from smoke inhalation and is in stable condition. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the story from Holly and what the fire chief there wants you to know about the dangers of extreme cold. This is a frightening situation out here, not just for the fire itself, but for the cold. These firefighters are out here again trying to put out hot spots, all the result of a man trying to thaw out his pipes. Caller saying that his trailer is on fire. That caller was 61-year-old Bruce Robinson late Sunday afternoon. We're told Robinson was trying to thaw frozen pipes under his home by using some sort of portable heater. He does everything on his own. I know it's cold. Uh, but using uh, external heat or flames to thaw water lines is, uh, you know, not the way to go. A Holly police officer was able to rescue a dog from inside the home after another officer started CPR on Robinson. Last night at midnight when I was up there, he was in stable condition. Monday morning, firefighters from the village of Holly were back out after they say something rekindled, sparking a blaze. Because of the age of the modular unit, it's almost like a balloon construction. There were just embers. Uh, stuck under the uh, two by two metal rails underneath and uh, it rekindled this morning about 9 a.m. Robinson's home has been destroyed. A relative tells us he's hospitalized, sedated and on a ventilator. The family thanks everyone for their concern and prayers. Firefighters say this is a devastating reminder to never use a torch or open flame to try to thaw frozen pipes. We just urge everybody to be cautious, be safe, call the professionals. Um, this is the last thing that we want, uh, not only for the resident, but for our crews. Because, uh, you know, we've been out here since 9 a.m. and uh, we're all cold and frozen, but uh, we're going to do what we got to do to protect the community. In Holly, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you.